Hello, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I am trying out my new mic. Hopefully I'm not blowing your ears out. I guess I don't really have to talk quite so loud because it's right there. So here's hoping. <laughs> Otherwise I'm going to have to do this whole thing all over again. <laughs> okay, I have a few things. Number one, let's talk about the elephant in the room. We have five days, five, until we pick, the, the, until the yarn fairies all pick their winner for the hashtag Christmas in July fairies uh, for the 25th. So if you haven't already got your name in, I will leave the link up above uh, for my Christmas in July fairies video. Get your comment in there and then go to, I think we, I heard that we have like 170 fairies now. Like what? Seriously? Oh, what is happening with my hair? Oh my. Oh, good Lord. Anyway. Um, yeah, like that's a lot of fairies. So, uh, oops, sorry, Bailey didn't mean to kick you. What? Uh, so we've been instructed by Dana, our queen fairy, to make sure that our videos on the 15th are short so that you have a chance to go around to all the fairies and check and see if you're a winner. So, yeah. So it is so exciting. I am just so pumped for this, uh, as are all the fairies. Uh, something else I wanted to talk about was I had gotten a couple of comments that um, one of my videos, I believe, I believe it was the um, Raffle Palooza video, had like 10 ads in it. I am not in control of that. <laughs> Just saying. Um, what I did do though was I went into my settings and I took out one of the options um, for the roll up ads in the video, which takes away from my income. Um, but you know what? I know how annoying those videos can get and I'm just going to try and minimize them as much as I can for you so that you don't get all upset about it. What I do ask in return is that at the beginning of the video, you let the ads run for me. Um, that would be greatly appreciative unless it's like a 45 minute ad like Sandy from Left is Right Crochet told me that my very first video where I was monetized was 45 minutes. Again, not in control of that. <laughs> but if you could do that for me, that would be wonderful. A lot of people have been asking, a lot of my Yarnabees, which I love very, very much, have been asking how my sister is. I went to visit her uh, last weekend, or last week, and she is doing great. Uh, for those of you who are new, my uh, sister was rushed to the hospital in, was it January? February, January, February. Um, and she ended up having fluid on the brain and she was diagnosed after like a month. She was diagnosed with having Wegner's disease, uh, cerebral Wegner's, which is extremely, extremely rare. She's the only one that I know of that has that. There's lots of people that have Wagner's, but cerebral Wagner's is very, very rare. Uh, she's had four brain surgeries uh, in a two-month period, or she had four brain surgeries in a two-month period. It was brutal. It was very brutal. We didn't know if she was going to live. She, we didn't know if she was going to be a vegetable. We didn't know. Like, we had no idea what the outcome was going to be. Um, she still has an eye patch on, uh, they're trying right now to figure out what's going on with her eyesight. Um, but she, um, for the most part, she walks with a walker because her balance is all off. Um, <clears throat> but the last time I went and saw her, she actually wasn't walking with her walker. Hallelujah. Um, it shocked me. It really did. And she was in good spirits. 
uh, she did, does still walk with a walker, but she was trying something different, <laughs> something new. And she was doing really well as long as she had a sense of where her surroundings were and she had something to hold on to if, if she happened to keel over. Um, so yeah, she's, she's doing really well. She's fighting really hard. Um, Wegner's is something that you live with for the rest of your life. It is not curable. Uh, and it's just, yeah, it becomes your new, new normal. Um, so yeah, so, but she's, she's, yeah, in good spirits. Uh, her short-term memory is shot. She will probably never get that back. Um, so you know, you kind of had, it's almost like Alzheimer's in a sense, not quite so bad, but you know, you have conversations over again once in a while. <laughs> so it's like, you know, having a new conversation, <laughs> you know? so, but, um, we're, we're dealing with that and, um, yeah, so she's doing good. She's doing good. And I'm just praying and hoping that she gets even better. Uh, if she doesn't, and this is who she is for the rest of her life, I'm good with that because she's alive. So there you have it. Okay, enough of that. Um, I was wondering if, like, if you've seen all of my videos, you'd notice that I did a couple of cooking videos. I haven't done one in a while because I've just been in a funk with this whole COVID thing. But I, one thing that I do like making is strawberry rhubarb pies. Uh, George doesn't like rhubarb, so I started making strawberry pies. <laughs> and I get um, my strawberries delivered fresh from a farm, which is really nice. And they're so good. And so I was wondering, I've got some coming this weekend. And I was wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing me make a strawberry pie. And I will give you my recipe. Shh, don't tell anyone though. <laughs> um, so yeah, and if you have any uh, other ideas for cooking videos, let me know. I watched Gary from Urban Yarns video and he was saying that him and his husband had gone to come over to Vancouver Island and went up to Courtney for a little vacation staycation, whatever, uh, over the Canada Day weekend. And I have to say, I was, I was a little sad <laughs> that uh, we never got to meet. Um, he said that he is going to be coming over a few times during the summer. And hopefully, if all goes well, I'll actually be able to meet him. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. But yeah, I was, I was just like kind of little, <laughs> but I'll get over it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to show you a few things that I've been working on and some FOs and a whip. I've been in that kind of mode where I wanted something quick and easy and, you know, some, some gratification just for the short term because I've been working on this blanket what well, seems like forever so I needed something really quick and easy I'll show you the blanket in a minute uh, but I have been making these which are headbands and I know that if I try these on I'm gonna my hair is gonna go all over creation but I'll do it for you guys Looks better with your hair down, but anyway. So these are the ear warmers. Eh. I don't wear them very well. So they look better when you've got your hair down anyway. So they've got the knot in the front and they are almost a hat, but they got the big hole. So if you have a ponytail or if you've got your bun thing or whatever then you've got whoo that's hot whew. anyway uh 
I'm debating whether or not to do a video on these. Um, but I made them in a few different colors. And... I made this one in alpaca. Ugh. And it's done with triple crochets. So if you're interested, let me know. And I will... Oh, I have alpaca all over me. And that microphone is right there. So it's, that was probably really loud. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I made those. And then I made, I just finished this this morning, and I used my new um, hook nook hook. And this is a size 15. And it's a cowl. Oop, this cowl, oh, can you see it? It's a guy sparkly. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, can you see the sparkle? Oh, I was really hoping that you were going to see the sparkle in it. But anyway, I, uh, I used Loops and Threads Sparkle Luxe. And this, I don't think they have this anymore. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. But I used the Loops and Threads uh, Sparkle, or I mean Sparkle Luxe and the Luxe. And it's the two of them together. Shimmer Lux, sorry. Right there. So I used those two together to make the cowl. And the cowl, I, I would put it on, but I've got my mic on, and it'll be like, <laughs> sound really terrible. So I made that. And then I made, I just love this. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I just, I love him. She's like, hello. <laughs> so this is the first lovey that I made. And then I made this lovey. He's got the plaid in his ears and on his bow tie. Isn't he cute? And then I made this lovey with the pink bow tie. And this one's made with alpaca. So, oh, so cute. Oh, and it's got the little plaid, pink plaid. <laughs> so I made that one. And I've got a few others that I'm going to be making, like my moose. I bought another moose and I'm going to be making one of those for, you know, Canada moose kind of thing. So <laughs> now this blanket that I, I showed this blanket to you guys before um, the start of it anyway. And I've had it on my Instagram and on my Facebook page. And it's done with the cluster stitch. Now, this is supposed to be a lapgan. I've already used six skeins of yarn on this, and I used the um, roll with it. Oh, I still ha I have to go and buy more because it's still not finished. I'm hoping that one more ball is going to do it. But it's huge. Like this is, it's supposed to go long way. Okay, so it goes like right down to your feet. And it actually folds over. But this is how wide it is. And I just don't think it's wide enough. So I may have to go and do another, another one or two balls. But it's really long. I haven't measured it. But it's, you know, it's really... It's really long. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done it quite so long, but what I would plan was planning on was having that width or that length was supposed to be the width. But after seeing how many 
um, skeins of yarn I was going through, I decided to make it the other way around and make it more of a lap gan because ugh, it takes a lot. It's definitely a yarn eater. And if I do this again, I am not going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook. Just saying that right now. Oh, I am doing the new Fiber Spiders um, Kaleidoscope Shawl. It's so frustrating doing, I've never done a cal before, a crochet along. So this is like my first one I'm doing. Like I did his Kaleidoscope Blanket, but I didn't do the actual um, crochet along. I did it once he finished all the videos and then I just went through them. I'm frustrated because I'm like, okay, let's do the next part. Let's do the next part. And I can't because I have to wait. And for the last four videos, he's gotten them up every day. Today, he hasn't got it up yet. And I'm going, uh oh, like, why? <laughs> like, oh, please don't tell me that you're going to make us wait all weekend before you get the fifth part up. So I'm sitting on the edge of my seat going, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. But uh, yeah, so I've started that. And then I started doing his other um, blanket. But I forget what, it, what it's called. But anyway, it's like a granny square kind of one. But it's like really open and airy. And I don't really like that for a blanket. So I've got like big chunk of it done and I'm going mm, I don't think I want to make this as a blanket so I'm right now trying to modify the square that I'm doing to make it into a sweater or a uh, sh shirt summer shirt something uh, so I'm trying to figure that all out Okay, I was telling you guys that I was doing a wall hanging. I didn't finish the wall hanging that has like the really small yarn yet. <sighs> um, but I did do a different one and I really like it. So here is, oops, this piece and then it's got all the dangly bits on it. Bring it up closer. Oh, can you see it? There we go. So this is made with the popcorn stitch. And, uh, oh no, this one isn't. Sorry. Uh, this is, yes, popcorn stitch. I, it, I think the original video is made, of, or the tutorial, not tutorial, pattern, is made with the bobble stitch, but I was getting really frustrated with it. So I changed it to a popcorn stitch. Uh, this was a lot of fun to make and it's on a metal hoop. So I guess it's, it's kind of my own design, but it's not kind of my own design because the flowers are different, uh, on hers. She has totally different flowers and she uses a different stitch. The concept is the same. So I don't really know if I would be allowed to do a video on this or not because it's, I guess, technically a copyright, but it's not a copyright. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, so I will put the link down below for the actual pattern for the, the um, uh, paid for pattern. Now, the one thing I was really upset about with this pattern was I had purchased a different pattern. It was a unicorn pattern, right? And this, it looked just like this, but it had a unicorn horn on it. And, uh, it was made to look like a unicorn. I thought it would have, you would think it would have this piece in there as part of the pattern. It did not. All it had in that pattern was the horn and the flowers to make it look like a unicorn. This part was not in the pattern. I'm sorry, but who does that? If you're going to put a pattern out there, put the whole pattern out there. Don't just put 
parts of the pattern. Um, so I ended up paying for that just to find out that I had to go back and purchase another pattern. Then I found out after I purchased that pattern that it was free on her website. I was not impressed. I was not impressed at all. So yeah. Um, but I love the pattern. The pattern's a lot of fun. I think it looks great. Uh, I was just really upset that there wasn't real transparency with that. And if there was, I didn't read it. I didn't see it. It's whatever. So don't be fooled. I will leave the website with the free pattern down below. Okay. And if you decide that you want to purchase the pattern, then she has it on that site. Uh, all right. I'm going to do a couple shout outs. Number one, I would love to say a big congratulations to Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. <laughs> she got her 1,500 subs 15 1500 subscribers <laughs> blah, 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 blah. and i would also like to say congratulations to linda's yarn barn she got her 1k Yay! okay two um new to me uh websites is one is kelly's crochet adventures i will leave that link down below uh i haven't had a chance to take a look at her channel all that much. I just found it, but she's pretty new, I think. Uh, and then Shelly's Sassy Stitches. Oh, try and say that five times. Uh, I watched a, a one of her videos or two of her videos, I think. She just sent it all. Uh, so I will leave that link down below as well. Okay. That's all I got for you guys. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So I will see you guys in five days. That's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, July 15th for the drawing for the hashtag Christmas in July fairies. Yay. Okay. So you guys take care. Have a fabulous weekend. Stay safe. Um, and I will talk to you then. Okay. Mwah. Bye.